Well, in 2020 has been a tough year for so many people we know, but really particularly hard on the families at the Boys and Girls Clubs. Brett Moreno introduces us to one teen who is looking forward to a brighter new year. It's a second home. It's always been and it always will be. I love it there. 17 year old Michelle is talking about the Owen Boys and Girls Club. She was stunned when the club had to close in March. Um, it was very difficult. When the pandemic hit the economy, Michelle saw family members lose their jobs. I've had to kind of like pick up a job to sort of like help out in any areas that needed to. Social injustice has always been a part of Michelle's world, so she wasn't surprised by the protests. It's a very important movement that continued moving forward with that. But that being said, we also need to like be careful and make sure we don't like risk our health. Coronavirus is the biggest issue facing Michelle and her community right now. Because I've seen like a few like friends or like families like pass away due to this. She feels strongly that we should all take this virus seriously. Gotta be like more careful. Like the whole world needs to like calm down for just like a few minutes. Michelle is applying to colleges, but she's experienced a big dose of life this year already, and she's had limited access to her second home when she's needed it the most. I'm Britt Marino, covering Colorado First. And you can support the kids like Michelle at the Boys and Girls Clubs by making a donation to our Together for Colorado Toy Drive. Just drop off a new toy in the donation bins at most King Supers along the Front Range.